I'm sure you know that no good stuffing recipe is complete without the onion, so we're going to start there. You want to finely dice it. Mm. Really, really small pieces is key, so that it cooks quite nicely when it goes in. It's a bit teary. <laughs> I do love cooking. So there we go, there we've finally diced half an onion. What a lovely way to start. We're now going to dice some carrot. So you're looking to uh, go at about half a centimetre along, put it in your mouth, chop it up a bit further and get it out so we're getting nice even pieces. Moving now onto our celery, the green dream. It takes more calories to eat celery. Than Next, my favourite friend, the garlic. There is nothing better than the smell of garlic for days and weeks. Be aware that the garlic is very, very hard to handle and it really burns your mouth, but it's incredibly good for you. So stay with it and your stuffing will taste the better for it. Well, there we go. It's really hurting my tongue, but you know. Now it's time for our bread, the meatier part of the stuffing. I normally say, if you don't know how to target your bread, go at it like a hamburger. Mm. It's a very good loaf. I always choose the same loaf. Perfectly spherical. No bread knives, no blades, a very, very safe stuffing. And now we're going to bind our stuffing with an egg or two and I'm going to do the whisking in my mouth. There we go. Our egg binder. As with any good recipe, we use a lot of butter in our stuffing mix. And I don't have a microwave, so I'm just going to warm the butter with the cosy insides of my mouth. I've got myself a beautiful turkey. Open up and then retrieve our beautiful stuffing. I can almost hear the Christmas carols now. <laughs>